Hello and welcome back to Fikir Fitness TV. I'm your host, Daniel Fikir, founder and CEO of Fikir Fitness, and I'd like to welcome you back whether you're one of our OGs or if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining in. Now this is normally a husband and wife food vlog where we show you different tips and recipes that you can use as a beginner. But on today's episode, we're gonna be doing a little bit different. I wanna show you five tips for living with lupus for beginners. Now even if you don't have an autoimmune disease issue, I still strongly suggest watching this because if you see yourself having any of these common symptoms, this might be something that can help you to understand as far as what you might be dealing with and when to go see your primary care physician. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become part of the family. As we're gonna be talking today, I'm gonna to be making our famous, you guys know, this is the salad that we normally make for our lunch. My OGs, you already know the story, but for those who may not know, I do have what's called lupus nephritis. Now this is commonly known as an autoimmune disease where your cells begin to attack its own organs. It can be your heart, it can be your lungs, it can be any part of your body, your skin. For my case, it's my kidneys. Um, I've had this since the age of 13. I just had my recent flare up back in 2017. There I end up gaining over 30 pounds plus of water weight because my kidneys was unable to filter out water. I was in the hospital for about 13 days. During that time, I have to admit it was traumatic for me because you guys know I am a fitness trainer. So having to gain that much weight that fast, like it was hard, hard for me just to be able to walk to the mailbox and back type of hard. I've been hearing a lot of stories and feedback and I wanna thank you guys for all of your comments. Thank you for your love and support. You guys have been amazing. Um, I had someone that my brother just telling me about who actually watches my channel and I wanna thank them. I don't wanna put your name out, but I wanna thank you for telling me about your case and your story and letting you know as far as how I was able to be able to get into my position and hopefully this can help you as well everyone else out there who may be watching. The first tip for living with lupus is to visit your doctors regularly. Now I know most of you guys will take that as your primary care physician, which is fine. You do wanna see your primary care physician because they're looking at your overall health and your wellness, but they are specialists, especially when it comes towards lupus. Those specialists are a nephrologist. This is a doctor who specializes in your kidneys, as well as a rheumatologist. This is a doctor who specializes in inflammation, whether from your joints, your ankles, um, your ligaments, things that you might feel pain or stiffness. Many times people will go to an ER doctor and say like, hey, I'm suffering from this type of pain. I'm always fatigued, always tired. Whenever I run, I get you know shin splints. I feel pain in my ankles. And they might misdiagnose it. They might tell you, hey, it might just be like, you know, the wrong pair of shoes that you're wearing. So it'll just change your shoes and you'll feel better. Certain times that might be the case, but a lot of times it may not be. So the best thing to do is, although seeing a primary care physician, try your best to get second opinions. If you still feel like pain, fatigue, fitness, reoccurring in your body and it's almost becoming like normal, this is a time where you need to find a specialist. In my case, I ended up finding out about the lupus because I kept catching like common colds. Whenever I was in school, it was normal for me to catch a cold. And it got to a point where I had one lingering cold for about a month. Normally, like my body was able to kick it out within a week or two and I'd be back to normal. But when I realized like, hey, this doesn't feel right. Like me just trying to run as a 13 year old kid, of course, you're, you're full of energy, your hormones are raging. So you're supposed to be running up and down for no reason. But when I noticed that, hey, like I didn't want to run, I only wanted to walk, and even then I felt fatigue, I felt shortness of breath, something wasn't right. So that's when I approached my parents, I was like, hey, I don't think this might be a cold, this feels something more than that, can we please get check it out? That's when they brought me over to see a doctor who then realized what really was going on by testing my blood levels. They sent me over to a specialist and found out I had lupus. With the lupus, it caused like the bronchitis, and for me, the reason why I was feeling those symptoms is because it was so bad, it was like I was breathing through a straw. So every time I would walk, that's the reason why I was feeling that shortness of breath. So I strongly suggest finding a specialist who can help you through this because they can be the one to give you the right treatment plan. You really wanna almost be on first name basis with your doctor, let them know you, you wanna be able to like have them check you out and you as well check your doctors out. Go through the listing, don't be afraid to go on Google, check out your primary care physicians, check out your specialists before attending them. So that way you can see their reviews. You can see, hey, is this somebody who just treats somebody as a number? 
or do they treat them as a person? Then from there, you can make your own educated guess and find a doctor that best fits you. The second tip for beginners living with lupus is to find a stress-free zone. What I mean by that, a lot of us, we live a fast-paced life. We're going from work to school, uh, taking care of the kids, we're always moving. The only time we're actually resting is when we sleep. Well, that's actually not healthy. That's not a term that we should live by. You really do want to find a time to rest. You really do want to find a time to, to release all types of stress. A thing about lupus is it will give you a lot of red flags, a lot of warning. For me, my body was telling me by the stiffness. I, I would walk around and I would feel stiffness in my knees. I would, again, feel tired. I would get headaches often. I would blame it on, oh, you know what? Maybe I exercised too hard the other day and that's the reason why I'm feeling that joint pain. That had nothing to do with it. In my case, it was literally my body giving me the red flag saying, Danny, stop. You need to rest. You need to find a way to release the stress that's happening in your body. If you realize that it's your job, that's the reason why you're feeling this stress, then it may be time to be looking for a new job. Now, if this is your job and you know this is your purpose, this is what you were meant to do, then you can talk to your boss or even if you are a boss, find a way to be able to make the schedule where it's comfortable for your body. If that means, hey, like rather than working the morning shift, let me work the later afternoon shift just so I can sleep in and let my body rest, do that. Or if it means vice versa, hey, if I'm able to get to work at this time and get off, that gives me more time to relax before my children get home and then be able to help them with their homework and making dinner then find that as well. But your body needs to be able to have a, a stress-free zone where you can relax, your heart can be relaxed, and you can just kind of find peace throughout the day. A third tip for beginners living with lupus, you guys know this already, healthy eating. I personally, my wife and I, we've tried so many diets that were good for my body. Um, many people may not know, but there's certain types of food that you can eat that can actually cause inflammation in your body. A lot of that is due to ultra processed foods, sugars, um, sweets, things like that can really be harmful to you. So you really do wanna Google find out, hey, what are anti-inflammatory foods that I can add into my diet? just to make sure that you're keeping your body from swelling. A great book that we always recommend and we tell a lot of the people that we, we come in contact with is Dr. Brooke Goldner. Now, she is not only a doctor, she also has lupus and she herself was able to find how to heal her body with just healthy eating. My wife says it all the time, healing is in the food, and she is 100% right. Studies and research keep showing that eating healthy not only causes you to live longer, but it can also reverse certain sickness and disease that many people may be dealing with. So I would strongly suggest for anyone who may not know, hey, I'm not quite sure where to start, grab her book. It really does help you as well. She gives you great tips and advice, which leads to my number four for tips for beginners with lupus, exercising. Now again, nutrition is 80% while exercising is 20%, but this is so important for you. I don't mean just exercising as in lifting weights for strength training. This is good, but you can also do flexibility workouts, cardiovascular workouts, your body composition, muscle strength, endurance. All these proponents are a way of physical activity that helps your body to be able to live a longer and healthier life. My last and final one, number five, for beginners living with lupus, is to be aware of your body. Be aware of your body. What I mean by that is certain times we overlook if we have sniffles, if we have a cough, we're just like, oh, you know what? That might be due to my allergies, that might be due to like, you know, pets in the house, it's fine. Certain times that might be the case, but you do wanna kinda keep a check in your body. If you're like, hey, on Monday, I had a really bad case of sneezing and coughing, um, I had aches in my joints and I felt pain all over my chest. Not only keep an eye yourself, but to let someone who's close to you know, because then they can be the person that can call you the next day and be like, hey, so I remember you saying yesterday you were feeling these type of pains. Are they still reoccurring right now? A lot of times we get wrapped up in our life of the mundane that we forget about ourselves and to take care of ourselves. My mom used to tell me all the time, nobody can take care of you better than you which is so true because only I feel and know what's really going on with my body and how to be able to take care of it. I praise God you guys know who've been following along with me ever since that flare up till now. My body is in complete remission. Glory to Jesus, that's all glory to God. I made sure to follow along protocols that my doctors had for me as well making sure to continue educating myself and how to be able to take care of my body because I want to live a long life and I'm sure you do as well. The pain that you may be going through doesn't mean that you have to live with that for the rest of your life. You guys, I want to thank you so much for following along. Thank you guys for the comments and feedback because again, we do go through them, we read them, 
and we try our best to be able to come back with information that can help you. So you guys, you know we never like to close out without giving you an opportunity to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Both Steph and I are Christians and we do believe in Jesus and we'd like to share that out there with you who might be watching and may not know him. It's a simple prayer, you just repeat after me. It goes, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. It's that simple, folks. If you pray that prayer with us, welcome into the kingdom of God. Please get into a Bible-based church where you'll be able to grow spiritually. And if you have any troubles finding one, please get in contact with either myself or Steph, and we'll be more than happy to help you along in that journey. For my OGs, you know what's next. Newbies, come on and say along with us. Like, comment, subscribe, share, please. By doing so, you're just helping us with the algorithm and helping us to share our life story and journey with those out there who might be looking to do the same. You guys, thank you. Thank you again for being a part of the family. I appreciate each and every one of you guys more than you know. Until next time, Warriors, peace.